So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology. iPhone 12 versus Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. Let's begin with a boot up in three, two, one. This is our speed test here. And the Galaxy S20 FE, I just recently got the major update to One UI 3 for that phone. And I've always really loved this S20 FE. It's just a fantastic value of a device for the price point, giving you flagship specs that you expect from Samsung at a better price point. But the iPhone 12 does boot up first here over Samsung's flagship phone here, the S20 FE 5G, well, their mid-range flagship phone here. And you could see actually significantly so over that device. So definitely a faster experience to turn this device on than the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. Okay guys, so we're gonna do a different type of speed test that we've done before. It's gonna be a little bit more heavy lifting. You can see with the translucent background, we are on the three version of One UI. Go in here under Geekbench, you can see right there 14.3 for the iPhone you know, 12. And then you can see Android 11 over here. So let's go ahead now and just run the CPU benchmarks and see which one can do this a little bit better, which one can bench a little bit higher. Now on our last one, we seem to have an issue with the 10R. So if this looks a little bit weird on the multi-core, I will rerun it here for the iPhone 12. But you can see over here, the FE is on its way. So I'll be back when they are done. Okay, and so the final scores are in and you could see that the iPhone 12 was actually finished with this test a lot faster and you could see the single core score for the S20 FE sits at 831, 1600 for the iPhone 12, which is basically double that score and the multi-core 2854 for the FE, which is respectable. And over here we do have a very fast 4186 for the iPhone 12. So that seems pretty good there. Overall, I would say that you know the iPhone 12 definitely, I think when it comes to that actual CPU is a lot quicker here than the S20 FE, but in real world use, will you really see it? Probably not too much for everyday application opening. Now, if we go into wildlife here, we're gonna go ahead and try out this benchmark. This will test more of its gaming performance and you know frame rate, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and hit start on both and I'll be back when they are done testing these two. Okay, and we have our final scores here. Now, the Galaxy S20 FE does 3878 on the overall score and had an average frame rate of 23.20. So what does that tell us? Well, it tells us it's a pretty powerful phone, but it's probably not the most powerful gaming device that you can get on the market, definitely not. And then the iPhone 12 over here, 8810 on its score with an average frame rate of 52 frames per second. So definitely held the frames per second a little bit better than, well, actually a lot better than the S20 FE. You can see that, you know, it did range from 35 to 69. And you could see here on the S20 FE, it ranged from 15 to 29. So, so I'd like to see a little bit more gains here on the processor for the S21 FE if Samsung brings that one out. And you could see here for the S20 FE that it did range between 15 FPS and 29 FPS. And you could see that the score versus all other devices was 76% better. So not better than all devices. So the 24 would be probably some of the flagship phones and the gaming devices, but the iPhone 12 did went out in this benchmark as well. So now let's go ahead and just open PUBG Mobile to see which one could actually open this game up first. This does require a little bit more power than you know, our basic standard apps and looks like the S20 FE might be ahead. And again, I wouldn't be shocked if it wins in some of these. I wouldn't be shocked that the iPhone 12 wins in some of these. Both of these are flagship grade CPUs and either way you go, you're gonna be happy. So the iPhone 12 had that first but it was loading up these, you know, cards and stuff like that. So we're gonna get over here to the match page. And I think regardless of phone you go with, you'll be able to enjoy PUBG. You'll be able to enjoy a game here, no problem. It's not really gonna cost you the game just because you have slightly better frame rates and stuff like that between these two. I think if you know what you're doing in these games, you'll definitely be able to pull out a win here on either. It just depends on how great of a player you are here, but having the extra frame rates will make for a little bit of a smoother experience when playing the game. So 
Another thing that Samsung fixed you'll notice is that if you have your game here in the landscape mode and you swipe out, there's no longer that stutter. It comes out really smooth here. Really love that about One UI 3. And let's go ahead now and open up Mortal Kombat here and see which one can actually open this game first on both devices. And you will see it looks to be ahead there for the iPhone over the Samsung. So, I mean, like the benchmarks are kind of being proven here when it comes to the game here. You could see that it's just loading it faster. There we go for the iPhone here. And this iPhone 12 does have four gigs of RAM. This FE, I believe it has six gigs of RAM here, but you can see definitely faster frame rates there for the iPhone. Yeah but you can play both of them just fine. All right guys, and both of these phones are capable of 5G performance, but we're gonna go to this JavaScript benchmark and see which one can actually load up these web pages faster. This is Samsung internet and this is Apple's Safari. So both are their respective browsers for their respective platforms over here. And you can see the iPhone is done already at 87.8 milliseconds. So the Samsung comes in at around 333 milliseconds so you can see right there definitely a lot slower on the web browsing but in the actual pinch to zoom you won't really see it with the 120 hertz display the samsung might actually look smoother to the eye but the iphone definitely is actually a faster web browsing experience than the samsung but you're not really going to see it here i mean the samsung s20 fe but you're not really going to see it here again that much this stuff is more of the heavy stuff here but 5G on both, so that's really great. All right, guys, so we're gonna do a video render test, but I do wanna say that both of these are very smooth here in Premiere Rush. We do have a one minute 4K clip. Let's go ahead and share this. I think we can export it to 1080p. We're gonna export this 4K to 1080 because we're not in the premium version here, but let's go ahead now and export and see which one does this faster. So you can see, yeah, I think we have a winner here. Looks like the iPhone 12 is gonna rock it ahead here for the victory. And then, yeah, we're about done here. For the iPhone 12, here comes a Samsung. It kind of paused there at 94. Is the Samsung going to catch up? We'll have to see here. Samsung at 73, 74. iPhone is done here. And here comes the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. Not super far behind. And here comes the FE. So both of them can definitely render out video pretty quickly, but I think as the video clip gets longer, the A14 will start to shine a bit more than the S20 FE as you've seen right there. So in conclusion, the iPhone 12 is a little bit more than the S20 FE, and it's a little bit faster to be honest as well. The A14 is faster than the 865 in here. A little bit more RAM, but I don't think that really matters as much because the iPhone 12 is very well optimized. It doesn't have any real lag or anything like that. But this Samsung is still an excellent value. I love the S20 FE. I love the cameras that come with it. All around 120 Hz display, big screen, beautiful screen. You know, it's a full HD, so it still gets really good battery life. Still a beautiful, great device here in the S20 FE. But the iPhone is faster in the speed test. Let me know your thoughts between both of these, which one you would pick up and why down below in the comment section. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here, be sure to be well and peace. Thank you.